your adornment must not be merely external, braiding the hair and wearing wool jewelry or putting on dresses, but let it be the hidden person of the heart, with the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit, which is precious in the sight of God. 1 Peter 3, 3-4 through four. Lord, please be with me today. Let me be confident with my messy hair and cozy clothes. Let my spirit be bright and cheery even when I don't look it. For I know the greatest beauty lives in my heart. However, just because my mind knows this, it doesn't mean my soul feels it. Lord, today I pray for you to love me through the mess. You and I both know I need it. Lord, I pray in your name. Amen. I 
anyhow, let's just move on and get these opened up. All right, so I'm gonna start with this first box on the top here. I have no idea what month this is from. I know the second smaller box we're gonna do is from yesterday, so that's this month's box. Oh goodness, I just ripped the box. Oh, all right, I got it open, you guys. Da -da, da -da. Let's see if it says what month it is. Da -da 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 -da. Boxy charm, sweet treats. Hmm. I don't know, it doesn't say what month this is. Anyhow, let's just move on. Box number one, the first thing we have is the Natasha Denea eyeshadow palette. So, if it is an eyeshadow palette, we'll see what it's like. Oh, it's pretty nude colors. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I think I could use this. So, I'll keep this eyeshadow palette. All right. Oh, and this retails for $48. Y'all, this is not going to be the greatest boxy charm video. I am terrible at these unboxing videos, which is why I don't do them, because I'm not a beauty guru, and I'm not very good at doing them, but, you know, we got them, and I got a sick kid, and I got nothing else to show you, so we're going to open them up. Please bear with me, y'all. All right, number two, Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Icy Sherbert Primer. Well, that's nice. I can always use primer. This retails for $32. Silicone free and cooling effect. Cooling effect will be pretty handy, I think, come summertime. So, kind of excited to use that. Another keep. All right. Third thing we got in this first box is a Georgette Clinger Vitamin C Mask. It retails for $36. I really like vitamin C skin products. For whatever reason, they really make my skin glow and happy, so I will probably use that. All right, next is a Quivine, Quiv, Quavine? See, I'm not a beauty guru. Studio Dragon Lash Mascara. Is it this? Hmm, it must be this. Yes, it is this. So it's a mascara. It says it will instantly create the look of lash extensions with Dragon Lash Mascara. This lash doubling volumizing mascara lengthens and separates, giving you flirty, intensely black lashes. Dragon Lash Mascara is a semi-permanent high gloss black tubing mascara. Unlike conventional wax-based mascaras, tubing mascaras contain polymers that wrap around the lashes creating tubes so they don't smudge or flake. Plus, they're easy to remove, making you less likely to experience lash fallout during removal. Hooray for healthy lashes. This retails for $18. I will probably try this. Maybe I might give it in a giveaway. I don't know. I've always been really weird about those tubing mascaras. I don't know, you guys. I just, new things scare me. All right, with that being said, our next piece is a Pluck It two-piece tweezer set. I should have opened this a while ago, probably, because Pat's been wanting a new tweezers, and I just ordered him some, like, a month ago. So, you know, and I know this has been sitting here for more than a month. <laughs> yeah, I feel like okay tweezers. Pretty heavy duty. They retail for $18. I would not pay $18 for tweezers, so... Pat will probably try these out. I don't really play with tweezers much. I know I should, and I should pluck my eyebrows, but, you know, I don't really like the whole plucking my eyebrows. One of these days, I'm going to go to the beauty salon and get them waxed and, you know, not to be such a mess, but for right now, we're just going to go fluffy and natural. All right, well, that empties out the first box. Now, we'll move on to the second smaller box, which is from yesterday. So the first thing we have is a Tarte Shape Shape Glow Wand, which this, y'all, I'm pretty excited about because I love Tarte products and I am always needing concealer. I feel like I am out of concealer all of the time, so that'll be a keep, and it's $27. The next thing we have is a Beckman 1802 Dewy Eyed Eliminating and Depuffing Eye Serum. So, yeah, you know, some eye serum. I'll probably give that in a, put that in a giveaway because I don't really have puffy eyes, but, you know, 
we'll, we'll give it to a grandma or something. One of the grandmas will like it, I'm sure. Next thing we have is a first aid beauty. Hello. Oh, and this is $42. See how great I am at these, you guys? And the concealer is $27. All right, now let's move on. So we have a First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Hmm. I like coconut about anything because, you know, it smells good. It makes my skin happy. This is $30. So yeah, another primer. I'll probably put this up because I always need primers. So, you know. The next thing we have is the Dry Bar Hot Toddy Heat Protection Mist. So this is for when you like flat iron your hair or curl it or whatever. And it retails for $27. And I don't know if I'll keep this or not. I probably will because, you know, I do do my hair every once in a while and I don't have that many hair products, so I might keep that one. Next and last thing in here is the Tynet Beauty Haze Smoky Eye Pencil. Achieve both definition and blendability with this pencil. This retails for $18. And I'll probably put that in a, I don't know, giveaway or gift. Whatever kind of pile I want to call it, I guess. I'm going to call it a gift pile. I will probably put this in the gift pile because, y'all, I don't really do the whole smoky eye thing. However, this is green, which I find kind of interesting. Because, you know, I really like green. In fact, it's my favorite color. So I might keep it just because it's green. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of that box. And then we got the BoxyCharm Lux, which came in like March, I think, is when Boxy Lux came. So she's been sitting here a while, y'all. All right. First thing we have in here is the B Beauty London. Barbalia Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $50. Never in my life would I go to a store and pay $50 for an eyeshadow palette. I felt like it would have a lot of pinks and stuff because of how it was looking. I guess I can take this plastic off and y'all can probably just see it better, huh? It's got some pretty colors like this blue right here. I'm kind of excited to play with that, not even gonna lie. All right, well, I guess I'll keep this too. So I talk about how I'm not gonna use a lot of these and whatever, and I've got a whole pile of keep here and a very small pile of gift. So, you know, failing there, failing there. All right, next we have a glow recipe, Plum Plump Hyal Hyaluronic Serum. This concentrated formula is your go-to serum for plump, radiant skin. This silky water gel serum feet Features a unique blend of three types of plum the hyaluronic acid. I can't talk, y'all. Oh my goodness. All right, let's start that over. The Silky Water Gel Serum features a unique blend of three types of plum, hyaluronic acid, and vegan collagen. The formula contains five weights of hyaluronic acid to target different layers of the skin for deep hydration. It retails for $40. Two dollars. You all, I've had a couple of glow recipe things and I really like them. So this is a maybe pile and that retails for $42 if I didn't say that. I don't remember if I did or not. All right, next is the Fentanyl Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. It must be this. It is this. I've never tried the Fenty Beauty Foundation before. I just totally ripped that open. Hmm. I don't know, y'all. It's up here in very uh, orangey. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be my shade, you guys. I put way too much on for my hands, so it's not wanting to necessarily blend out the greatest, but hmm. eh, it can maybe do. I don't know if you all can see that or not. 
We'll see. I've been using the Mary Kay foundation and I really like that. It blends out very nicely for me and it seems to match my skin very well. I don't know, it's got some funky voodoo magic in it to like match itself to your skin. I don't know what voodoo thing it does, but I like it. All right, next is the Rose and Quartz hair mask. So we'll definitely keep that for me and Miss Esme because, you know, we always have a mess of hair. It says your touchstone of hair products, the Rose and Quartz hair mask, suits a spectrum of needs with 0% sulfate, sodium chloride, parabens, pegs, or prothlates. It suits all hair types and is safe for use with all chemical processes. Made in the USA. This retails for $31. The foundation retails for $36, if I didn't say it. I keep forgetting if I even told you guys how much this costs. I don't honestly know that you even really All care. Right. Next, G by Genario Brush Crush Makeup Brush Holder. So, let's see. I don't have any makeup brush holders. I mean, I just kind of got little jars I stack them in, so, you know. Let's see what a makeup brush holder has to offer. Oh, oh, yeah, just a little white thing. You can stick your makeup brushes in. I'll see if Esme wants it. Oh, it says face, eyes, and lips. So I suppose you can put your face brushes, eye brushes, lip brushes. I don't have lip brushes. I don't really do anything with my lips. These little lips look kind of funny when you put color on them. I don't know. I'll probably give this in a gift pile, maybe, or see if Esme wants it, but I don't honestly know if I really need it or want it. Gift, and it is how much? $34. Alright, next is the KVD Vegan Beauty Lock It Edge Foundation Brush Number 10. This right here. And I will probably, not even probably, I will be giving this in a gift because... I don't use foundation brushes. I don't use brushes. I, I use the foundation sponge and I use a brush for like my blush and yeah, bronzer. I think that's about it. I don't really use much for brushes, you guys. Other than my eyeshadow, bronzer, blush. I don't use it for my foundation or concealer though, so probably won't be that useful of a brush. So we'll just, you know, gift him. And he is a $34 brush. I would never pay $34 for a brush, so Lord Almighty. Kat Von D, eh? Apparently KVD stands for Kat Von D for the non-beauty people that don't know, because I didn't know. Anyhow, gift it. Next is the Dominique Cosmetics Creamy Fill and Define Lip Liner. And as I said, I don't do anything with my lips, so this will definitely be a giveaway. And it's in the color Crush. I don't know if you can see that there, but yeah, so that'll be a giveaway and it is an $18 value. And the last thing we have is AMNH Skincare Kiss the Stars 24 Gold Carrot 24 Carat Gold Lip Plumping Mask. And it retails for $42 and it is a apparently supposed to plump your lips. I don't know. It's pretty gold and glittery. Other than that, I don't know anything about it. Ooh, it smells very minty. Very minty. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll try it. Oh, it's got some little guard gold star things in there. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> That's cute. All right. So, we got it done, we got it done. Three boxy charm boxes open. Like I said, not sure how they pile up like this, but you know, they do. I have one more sitting on my dresser, but Esme took something out of there. I don't even remember what it was. She needed something at some point and we used it out of there. But yeah, like I say, I don't remember what it was. Hmm. Whatever. So there's one more that has hardly been touched as well. So. Boxy charm may just have to be canceled because, y'all, I am swimming in beauty products that are coming faster than I can use them. So, you know, I think I might just have to cancel and start again when I run out of things. 
trying to think of when the next boxy lux comes march april may june june i think so i think i'll hold on until i get the next boxy lux because you know i've got some good things out of that boxy lux and then i think i'm just gonna cancel it for a while because yeah we're kind of swimming in makeup products right here Granted, summertime's coming, and I do let Esme wear makeup around the house and such in the summer. I don't really care. I don't think it's real appropriate for a fourth grader to wear makeup to school. I'm just not that cool of a mom. Esme has snuck makeup and done that game before, but it has never been because I allowed it. Because, you know, I'm just not a cool mom, I guess. Just not cool. Anyhow, y'all... Thanks for once again sticking with this blabbering hot mess of a mom, not to be mistaken by the Hot Moms Club. Can't say that enough. Hot mess, not hot mom. Just to, to let y'all know, I don't know how to say it enough. Anyways, that is all I've got for you all today. This will not be up at 3.30 as it's almost 3.30 as I'm filming this, so... You know, I think it's like 3 o'clock right now, which means this won't be up at 3.30, but it'll be up at some point today. I think for this week I'm just going to give up the 3.30 deadline for videos because, you know, we can't ever just have a nice, normal, happy, no one gets sick week around here anymore, apparently. I don't know. Allergy season came and I seriously feel like people have just been sick one after the other. Hopefully Esme is the only one that gets sick this time. Fingers crossed. Anyhow, you guys, thanks for sticking with me once again. I appreciate all of my subscribers so much. You guys have been so amazing. Your support is amazing. And yeah, I just, I love you all so much. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow, probably not at 3.30. Bye, everyone.